Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I curl my hair to create loose, soft waves. I'm sure you've seen lots of videos on YouTube already to do this, but it's not really the easiest technique in the world and it's taken me a lot of practice to get it down right. So I'm going to show you how I do it, which is really a quick and simple way. So what you're going to need is a basic curling iron. This one is one and a half inch diameter barrel. So you're going to need, of course, a little hairbrush or a wide tooth comb. So what I do is I just take my fingers down the back and split it into half. And one side I'm going to tie up because I don't want to work on it right now. So I'm going to work on this side. And what I do in the morning is I just create three, maybe four big sections of this side. So let's do four. So I'll split this in half and then split the halves in half. Very simple. And I start from the back. So I'm going to start from, that's so weird, from this part in the back. So what I like to do is hold the hair straight out, horizontal, oh, I can't even see, this way, and curl that way. So my iron is nice and hot now, and this is the kind that has just a, a spring clip in it. So I want the waves moving back and away from me, so I want the clip in the front. Like away, not facing me, but away from me, facing you. So what you do is grab this, and I pinch it about halfway down, and then twist up to about the roots. If you want your curls to start really high up, go all the way up to the roots. I do it a little bit lower, just so it's a little bit of a looser curl. And then this other part is down here. So just hold it right there. <laughs> hold it right there. <laughs> and just let it heat up. And what you're gonna do is work down this piece of hair. So you open the clamp a tiny bit, pull down, and then twist back up. So let me move this out of the way so you can really see. So here's the hair in it, in the clip. So let me show you. So here's the hair, and I'm twisting it up. And then you press on the clamp, gently feed a little bit more of the hair down, and twist back up and leave it for a few seconds. And then I'm gonna open it again, gently feed a bit more of the hair in. If you can see all this. And here's a little bit that's poking out. If you wanna leave the ends straight, you can do that, but I like having it curled all the way. So I'm gonna feed the last of that into there and curl it back up and hold it. Sometimes what I do if I want the curls to last a really long time is I will spray that piece of hair front and back with a little bit of hairspray and then brush it through before I put it through the iron. Okay, and that should be enough. You'll notice I'm not really holding it for that long. And then gently, I, I just pinch the clip a little and let it out. And then you get <laughs> this little cute loose wave. So I'm just gonna keep going. And once that's done, I just move it back so that they don't get mixed up and my sections stay neat and I can see what parts I've done and what parts I have not. Hold it out straight. I'm gonna have the clamp away from my face. Clamp it about halfway down and wrap up.
all of a sudden it's really not fun And that's it. And we're done. I tend to leave my bangs alone because they're really, really short and as you can see, really tough to control. So I'm gonna show you how I do it outward, although I don't love how that looks. But what you do is take the curling iron and have the clamp like on the bottom and just grab those little guys and just for just a few seconds, Turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, and let it go. So they will kind of turn out. <laughs> so this stupid piece of hair is getting in the way, but right here, you can kind of see it, how it worked. I don't really love doing it on this side. I prefer it going curling inward on this side. So I think I will leave it alone, but sometimes it's nice to get this edge part to flip out. I'll show you what I do for that. First, just separate the bangs apart. And I kind of pull them to the side this way. And same thing, take, hold the iron so that the clamp is on the bottom. And just pinch these guys just for a little second. Turn them and let them go really quick. And there you go, sort of loosey goosey curls that are a little fun and I wouldn't call them beachy but it definitely adds a lot of volume to my hair which I don't have I have really straight fine hair so it just kind of hangs um, and that's how you do it and if you want to loosen them up they will loosen over time you can put a little hairspray in it to to make it last but I like how it looks and feels when it's just natural without any hairspray and it allows the curls to uh, get loose over the course of the day which is really nice because they just become just softly curled layers and that's it I just kind of love this look because it's soft and romantic and easy 
but it looks super put together and uh, I feel like it makes my hair look kind of shinier when it's when it's been curled like that. And it's really fun because you can wear it now either all the way out or sometimes I like to do, you know, half up and have some of it just hanging out like that. Or you can do a full on pony. You can even tease the roots a little bit at the crown of your ponytail just for more lift. And then you get this like fun, curly, like flirty ponytail, which is really nice. And the bangs that are sort of open. So there's a lot of ways that you can wear your hair even after you've curled it that way. I actually really like it just down. And there you have it. I hope you've learned something and that this was really helpful and that you have a much easier time curling your hair. Definitely leave me some comments if you have questions and let me know if you like this look. If you want to see more hair tutorials, if there's anything you want me to try, just leave me a comment below and I'll be more than happy to put something together for you. So thanks for watching and I will see you soon. Bye!